What is deadweight loss? Deadweight loss is loss gains from trade caused by a market inefficiency. Here's a way to think about deadweight loss. Suppose that you're planning a trip to New York and you're gonna take the bus. The benefit of the trip to you, the value of seeing the sights in New York, is $50. The cost of the bus ticket is $40. So do you take the trip? Yes. The total value of the trip is $10, which is positive. So you decide to take the trip. Trips to New York is equal to one. Now, suppose there's a $20 tax on bus fares. And for simplicity, let's just say it raises the cost of a ticket from $40 to $60. Do you take the trip? No. Your benefit of visiting New York, $50, is less than the cost, $60. So now, no trip. Trips to New York are equal to zero. And since you don't take the trip, the government makes no revenue. This is deadweight loss. You have lost the value of the trip. You used to take the trip, and the world was better off by that $10 of value. But now, with the tax, you don't take the trip, and that $10 is a deadweight loss. It's gone. And notice that it's not made up for by revenue, because there is no revenue. So deadweight loss is the value of the trips not made because of the tax, and there's no revenue on trips which aren't made. Government only makes revenue on the trips which continue to occur. Let's look at deadweight loss graphically. Instead of trips, we'll look at trades. Deadweight loss is the value of the trades not made because of a tax. Imagine the market for keychains. The price with no tax is $2 and the quantity is 700 keychains. Now, suppose the government imposes a tax of $1 on this good. And let's say that this causes the new price for the buyer to be $2.50. At this new price, there are 500 trades, 200 fewer than before. So these are the 200 trades which are not made because of the tax. Before the tax, the demanders of those 200 trades valued them more than it costs the suppliers to provide the keychains. So the value of these trades is the price consumers are willing to pay minus supplier's cost to provide the goods, and it's given by this triangle. Because those trades no longer occur, that value is no longer produced. That's deadweight loss, the value of the trades which don't occur because of the tax. But taxes aren't the only cause of deadweight loss. To learn about another source of deadweight loss, click here. Or to test your knowledge on deadweight loss, click here. Still here? Check out Marginal Revolution University's other popular videos. 